Hi everyone. Oh my gosh, I've I've been I'm just so excited. I don't know where to start. Uh, I hope I can get this all out without um, uh, tripping over my words too many uh, too many times. But I have just been involved in a little nun's room rave because my friend Ollie, uh, who um, is a DJ, um, he just posted a live watch party to Facebook and I, I just clicked on it and I started to listen to it and I haven't really, I've heard some of his music but I haven't heard it live and there's him there and he's DJing in his in his room and doing all of his things and it is it just starts to build and it just got more and more exciting and absolutely awesome. There's a little bit in there that sounded a bit like Stranger Things uh, so I was like oh this is exactly what I need so I only have probably enough space. If I, if I laid down, if you imagine my body on the floor that's how much space I've got. So I was just dancing around uh, in my room, listening to the music, uh, got my um, speaker out so that it was even louder, a bit bass on, and just was enjoying the moment. And every so often, um, Ollie was saying stuff through his um, his microphone, just saying he's testing out things at the moment, seeing what's going on. Well, Ollie, you've got to carry on because that was just awesome. It was unbelievable. And um, I wouldn't have known Ollie unless I uh, got stuck at an airport once upon a time and I don't know about you I know um, it's going to be tricky talking about travel at the moment because I love to travel I've even got um, so in my little nun's room like I said everything's going to be related in some way I do have um, my boarding pass that I kept from my first ever complete around the world trip this is my flight to Singapore um, on the 8th of October 2018 um, I booked around the world trip to go to Singapore Australia and New Zealand and then to California to see um, my friends Louise um, my, uh, my bestie Louise and her family and then back home again it was a three month break away and I needed it I really really needed it um, I'd never been to Australia before always wanted to go always wanted to go to New Zealand I mean since I was 27 um, there was the the thing where you could get a visa um, for if you were under 30 or under 31 um, and um, basically you could go but I couldn't I didn't have enough money at the time way back when I was 27 so I ended up living with a load of Kiwis and um, and like surrounding myself in, with New Zealand culture and um, Australian culture and just absolutely um, loved it but obviously frustratingly hadn't gone so I um, I went uh, a year and six months ago and um, I finally finally got to Australia finally got to New Zealand it was amazing anyway that trip had a few little things go wrong but this is actually about things when things go wrong how can you make them right so just um, in January time I was flying back again from seeing my friend Louise in California because I was out there in Los Angeles and um, uh, uh, Orange County for um, Christmas and um, Louise and her husband and the kids had dropped me off at the airport and I was there and you know, arrived everything seemed fine and then they said that they cancelled flights now I was thinking oh god okay well that's fine you know this has happened to me before so many times um it happened to me once when i was um flying from ecuador to uh, bogota and then bogota it was going to be bogota home but that situation ended up me actually getting a day trip around bogota by a friend that i'd met in ecuador who was from colombia and um it was just incredible so Anyway, I know how to embrace stressful situations. I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm pretty good at it, quite resilient with that. Not always, but, but I really, really try hard. So anyway, so I'm at the airport and I'm stood there and I'm thinking, actually, I'm not prepared for this this time. I've got to work on Monday. I really need to be back. I know I'm going to feel jet lagged. Um, and I was looking a bit confused and there was this guy in front of me. And um, he was all dressed in black and he had a baseball cap on and he started talking to me. He's like in, in this like very thick um, northern uh, Leeds, Leeds accent. And uh, he'll probably not say that if he, he um... <laughs> but anyway, he started talking to me and he was helping me out. And he was like, Are you all right? You know, um, do you want some help? I, you know, I'm in a similar situation. I'm trying to go. I think he was trying to get to San Diego. I can't remember now or San Francisco, one of the two. And he was supposed to be flying there because he was DJing that 
that night. No, that was it. Um, he was supposed to be getting to Chicago. That's right. We were both flying via Chicago and then Chicago home on exactly the same flight. So he was really trying really hard to um, to do that because he was actually going to be gigging that night. So um, long story short, he was such a sweetheart. And actually, it's funny because in that situation, and usually it's me that helping other people and just being all nice and calm and cool. But actually, he was the one who stepped up and, um, and really helped me out. So anyway... Um, we it, it actually got sorted and I was on a plane at about six o'clock and I was supposed to be flying at one and um, he was then booked onto another plane um, that uh, my plane was actually flying directly to London from there which was perfect like I mean even more perfect than flying via Chicago in fact I think I ended up coming back an hour earlier than I was doing doing the way I was going to be going but um, he was still flying direct to Chicago but um, there was a massive great storm a huge great snowstorm so he was in interpretation as, uh, as well I wasn't sure I, I was going to go but um so both of us just thought well let's make the best of it so um so we just hung out at the airport and we just we just just hung out and it was um it was just really really funny we just had a really good time um sorry if you can hear banging that's my flatmate um hoovering today he's been cleaning his room apologies for that but um but anyway so um we just sat and um we we had a, a cup of tea that was so expensive like i mean ridiculously expensive so um so we made that tea last and i think he was quite impressed with my skills um be, uh, that i was able to <laughs> i think make like three or four cups of tea out of this one tea bag but you know needs must needs must everybody and and him being a yorkshire man he said it do you know like to save a bit of cash like save a bit of cash um but during the time we just wandered around and um we met people and we spoke to um someone on the desk that i'd met previously in a united airlines um the year exactly the year before and i recognized this lovely attendant and we had a good giggle with him and actually he ended up really helping Ollie and just making like clear that he was going to be flying even though still we were a bit in trepidation um so eventually we um get to the point where we were about to um say goodbye and I was actually feeling really emotional because it was such a fun couple of hours chit-chatting I was talking to my friends he was texting his fans he's like you don't mind me saying fans to you I'm like of course don't mind saying saying fans you know you're awesome and um and then um and then he went and bought a couple of really healthy things, told me a very, very funny story about once where he was um, uh, got, got on a wrong train. In fact, lots of funny stories about his kind of travel instances and things that he goes through. And that's what happens when you are, you're world traveling, you kind of got to be up for it. Um, you've got to be up for those those things going wrong uh, and especially if you're on your own too you haven't really got anyone to to um, to kind of ask and to rely on um, but but anyway the beauty of this is that from something going wrong um, a friendship can blossom and I haven't seen Ollie since it's, but it's only been a couple of um, a couple of months but I have been following his music but I haven't heard him live so this is the first time today that I've probably heard him live and um, I'm totally a fan 100% already watching that mind work I mean this quiet man sat opposite me drinking his tea when we're um when we're in the airport and this this trying to fend off the um the 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 waiter who was really trying to get the seat off us even though there was no one else kind of you know there's hardly any people in the airport um uh you know the the quiet the quietness although we did try and blag uh, the lounge because I've done that a few times before I've um tried to blag to blag going in the lounge um that kind work too um i know it's not relevant this isn't relevant right now none of us can travel it's going to be really hard for me i really do love my traveling it's one of the things that i always do it's like in my heart i've always been like it since i was very very young um it's just one of my biggest it's one of my biggest biggest passions but what i'm going to do is maybe post a few stories of travels um little reminders of my travels that i have here with me and uh and just talk about talk about the good times because there have been some really great times and um and and for me it is like um embracing the best of a situation and um and you never know you might make um a new a new friend out of it so ollie portamento or, or gorp as um his label is love you loads um such a great um live watch party today i'm going to post this and i um uh, can't wait to see what else is coming out in uh for the rest of the week and we'll be listening in so um so anyway everyone um and also uh i'm hoping that my friend jamie who 
flew from Australia, definitely got to Qatar um, at five o'clock this morning. Um, I haven't heard any more, but I'm hoping that he's um, okay because he did send me a few texts yesterday um, saying that there were some pretty heated things going on. But at the same time, he was also making the best of it and just just, um, just, just trying to be as, as kind of positive as possible during the experience of something that actually is really is really making um history right now because i know there's a lot of people who are also stuck in places um uh like cambodia and the philippines um and brits who aren't getting home right now and um and although it's been only a couple of days that i've been stuck in places um i do i do genuinely know and understand that feeling um but even even in that there's still the the best that can be made um but anyway that's me that's the way i deal with things um that's a that's um but anyway yes great it was it, it's all great had a great time dancing in the bedroom today um i hope that you guys have a good day and um love you loads all right bye